Hi, my name is Eric. Uh, I'm a game developer from Germany. And uh, today I would very much like to talk to you about how you maybe should not listen to people giving you advice on how to sell video games. Um, so about a year ago, I was doing some research on building a good Steam page and some other adjacent things in order to figure out a good strategy for what at that time was my upcoming video game called GB Rober, which is now out since last October. And in general, please buy the game. I can really use the money anyway. Um, oh, well, I found some useful advice, but also a lot of stuff that frankly gave me a lot of anxiety and the creeping feeling that I'm already a complete and utter failure. And I will never make any money with selling video games. And there isn't really much hope for that ever changing. Um, because you see, when you look up advice for how to sell video games, oftentimes how to sell video games on Steam, this kind of advice is very much oftentimes geared towards a very specific kind of game developer. And I don't really mean just the kinds of games that they are making, but also the material conditions under which these games are being made. And like under which the people who write the advice blog posts and other things are like writing their blog posts on the um so for example these blog posts are usually written either by folks who are or were commercially successful or only these kinds of people are interviewed for these kinds of articles and another thing that's fairly common is that all the people who are talking about this kind of stuff come themselves from a position of relative financial stability and affluence and so whatever kinds of advice they're giving is pretty much colored by these circumstances and though some of these things could be considered good helpful advice like for example when to set, how to set up your steam page properly how to tag your game on steam and all that kind of stuff when to publish your game versus when to release like publish the steam page versus when to release this and so on this is kind of like okay advice a lot of it is also not very much applicable to folks like me me meaning people who are kind of very poor and are working mostly on my own. I don't have a budget for my game because uh, I don't have the money for a budget, basically. Um, and one huge problem you encounter when you look up advice on how to market and sell a game on Steam is that game development in general is very often treated like a black box in these pieces. The authors just assume that if you do everything within that box correctly without ever telling you what's inside the box at all, and you follow their advice, uh, you can expect a certain outcome. The problem, however, with treating game development as a black box in this situation is that the process of creating and releasing a game on Steam and in general is a highly dependent on the individual situation and conditions for each corresponding developer. That means, for example, that models that predict and analyze commercial success of games on Steam are only really somewhat accurate when they are being applied to games that are similar to those that have been used to create these models. The moment your game differs from those games that have been used to establish the model, the value of the statistical model itself diminishes greatly. And if your game, for example, is underperforming in this kind of analysis, all you can really get from it is that basically, well, your game or your marketing wasn't good enough, which is about as helpful as telling you that, well, you just have to make a good video game if you want to earn money with it. Um, so the models basically work all under the assumption that markets themselves are static entities and that like each actor on set market is working under the same conditions, which is evidently not true if you just look at the breadth of games that are being released on Steam every day. And they also ignore that a lot of small creators on Steam on are individual actors that don't have the resources to get the kind of attention you need in order to have a game have an quote unquote average performance on Steam. Um, it also shows in general that the term average in this case doesn't really mean average, but average game that is being made under roughly the same conditions as those that have been used to create said average. Apologies for not updating the slides. <laughs> so if you're in a similar boat as me, you make like games mostly on your own. Your disposable income is next to non-existent and the kinds of games that you're making are in kind of a crowded genre, like for example, pixel art platformers. Um, please, please ignore about 90% of advice about selling games on Steam that you find on the internet because most of it doesn't actually acknowledge that you exist. And therefore, whatever information it might have 
is most likely not applicable to your situation. Um, so what I've started doing instead, or what I'm trying to do, brains are weird and sometimes you still like run after expectations you can't meet, um, is like, and what I think might help people, people who are in a similar situation as I is, I try to give myself goals that are more within my control and are not relying on meeting some kind of outside performance metric that I found in the internet. I try to like gauge my, like, uh, my expectations and everything based on the stuff that I'd made. And when I see like advice and stuff, I ask myself, does this actually apply to my situation or doesn't it um, like apply <laughs> to my situation and try to like work off of that and like something else. And that's like a very basic thing, but I think it's worth repeating like that I keep reminding myself of and that I would very much everyone else to keep in mind of is that the worth of your work and of you as a human being is not tied to how well whatever you do is like doing commercially, um, but is like independent from that. It, it's still valuable and it's still worth pursuing. And don't let like people that give business advice for indie game indie game developers tell you otherwise and yeah thank you very much for your time i hope this was roughly in the five minutes i have no idea this is where you can find me on the internet and yeah thank you very much and have a nice evening or day or whatever time it is.